we gather this afternoon, not so much by choice but by necessity, following the invasion of Ukraine, an independent and sovereign country, by an aggressive president and armies of Russia and Belarus, to pray for peace, justice and the upholding of the rights and dignity of all the people of Ukraine, regardless of their origin, language or religion. If the technology is working, I welcome also those who join us wherever they may be on the Facebook and the diocesan website. I welcome all those of Christian faith, those of other faiths, those simply who wish to show their solidarity and share, albeit in private, their thoughts this afternoon for the people of Ukraine. We join many others in calling for an immediate cessation of the Russian attacks in Ukraine and for the protection of innocent civilians. Praying for the people of Ukraine who are suffering the brunt of this conflict. We pray for their strength and perseverance under this onslaught. As Cardinal Vincent Nichols said on Thursday, the international community must unite in seeking an end to this conflict through peaceful means, including dialogue and negotiation. That is the only way forward. It is their responsibility to ensure that international law and territorial sovereignty are respected. We must also keep in mind the plight of those who will become refugees as a result of this attack and the humanitarian crises that will inevitably follow. And it will fall to us too, perhaps, to make welcome some of those hundreds of thousands of refugees that there are likely to be.